Gale Literature Criticism is a collection of literary criticism, book reviews, analysis, essays, biographies related to uh, literature and its study. What we have available at the very beginning is an advanced search. We have multiple search boxes in which we can put our key terms. You can also tell it where to search. And we're going to do one of those in just a second. I want to show you first down below, we have some other options. It defaults to full text documents. And we do have a series of uh, collections that this is actually searching. So what we're searching is in total seven different collections of criticism. One is on 19th century, we have 20th century and the contemporary, which takes from about 1960 onward. We have drama, poetry, Shakespeare, and short story. If you're looking for works about a particular author who's written across different genres, like maybe they've written a play and they've written poetry, or they've written short stories and a novel, you may want to select individual collections to search in order to focus your results. If you'd like to search across all of them, you can just leave it as is and it will do a cross-sectional search. You can also search by content type, which would be uh, biographies, literary criticism, primary source material, and reviews. Or you can do it by document type, which would then focus down into articles or book reviews, uh, case studies, etc. Usually the way I approach this, since this is not a widely robust collection, but it is a very focused and uh, scholarly collection, is I'll just start with a very uh, entry-level search. I'll search for my title. I'm going to look for the play Fences. And I know that that is the name of the work. Of all the options I have, um, I'm going to just take a quick look through those. and I'm going to select name of work. I also know that that's by the playwright um, August Wilson. Or, uh, so I'm going to take a look at that in just a second. I'll show you how we can narrow that down. Let's conduct a search. And what I see is I have 56 results uh, available to me. They're sorted by relevance, which means they'll try to put the most relevant item up top, not necessarily the newest one. In this case, we have something called uh, Fiery Fences. It's the New York Theater's Critic Reviews, and it's about 600 words long. The next one is uh, 786 words, and that's about family ties and Wilson's Fences. So clearly we're getting some relevant results because I'm seeing the last name there. If I were to have gone back and added Wilson's name, instead of 56 results, let's click on Revise Search. I'll type in Wilson. And I can say that Wilson, I could do a basic search, or I could say that that is the person it's by or about. Not the author of the article, but the actual person it's about, so the um, author that you're looking for. Let's do a search on that combination. And instead of 56 results, I'm down to 20. So it's a little bit more focused. I still see fiery fences and I have uh, other items available. Now I'm getting a little bit longer uh, essays available to me, 1800 words or so. This case we have 56, almost 5700 words. And this is from essays and theaters. And we have protecting home, patriarchal authority, and August Wilson's fences. In order to view any of these, you'll be able to click on the title and it should take you to the full text because we told it to show us only full text results. You'll also see which source this is coming from. So these are, of course, coming from drama criticism, which makes sense since this is a play. Let's take a look at one of these results. What it will do, it takes me into a scanned document. This comes from a print source. Originally, the library had print versions of these uh, items on our shelves, but we converted to the online version. What we're able to do is click through it page by page, and it will highlight where Wilson and Fences show up. Or I can download a copy of this. What I sometimes do is download it because it gives me a PDF version, and it's a little bit easier to navigate in a downloaded version. So you would click on download, and it says, uh, this is pretty long, um, it may take a long time. It actually doesn't because computers are fast now, so you would download it, and then you could open it up in Adobe. That is essentially how you search. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact a librarian for additional help. We're always happy to be here. Take care.